The common pleco is one if not the most common fish in the aquarium trade. They're sold pretty much in every fish shop and some have some pretty cool patterns like the royal pleco. Not only do they look really interesting, but they're also well known for helping clean your aquarium. In this video, I'll go over some general care info and advice, as well as share some of my own experience with the Pleco. My name is Gus, and this is my aquarium info. So the first thing that you should know about the Pleco is that just like a lot of other fish, it goes by many names. You've got the algae eater pleco, the common pleco, spotted pleco, suckerfish, sucker mouth catfish. You can call it whatever you like, it doesn't really matter. I personally prefer the common pleco, but that's just me. All you really need to know is that it's a type of catfish from South America and its species name is Hippostomus placostomus. And that's just in case you need to look up any info, any specific info. It's got a nice ancient fish type look to it, at least to me, and that's why I like it. But for whatever reason, it's extremely popular. And if you plan on getting a pleco or already have one, you have to understand that this fish is going to get big. It's going to get big and it's kept in a small tank. It can get territorial or maybe even aggressive. So I don't recommend this as a starter fish and I do not recommend it if you have anything smaller than a 30 gallon aquarium. With that said, let's go over some general care info uh, about the Pleco in case you have one or you decide to get one. Uh, you're going to need an aquarium of at least 30 gallons for your Pleco and you're most likely going to have to upgrade it as the Pleco matures and will require a larger aquarium. They're usually sold around 2 inches but you can expect them to grow at least 15 inches and at a max length of 2 feet. Their life expectancy is about a decade depending on how well they are kept. Again, another reason why this is not a beginner fish, something like a molly or a platy or a guppy. Something that doesn't have a long lifespan is more suited for the beginners, while something like the catfish, like this pleco, that's going to live quite a number of years, is more for the experienced aquarist. As far as their persona goes, they are relatively peaceful fish and can be kept with pretty much any fish that wouldn't fit in its mouth. But as it grows, so does its temper. It can be pretty territorial. I've seen them fend off other fish from their territory. I've seen them pick up, shake, and toss African dwarf frogs from their territory. And I've seen them uproot plants that they just didn't want in their territory. So if we have a smaller, neat aquarium, this can potentially be a problem. Keep that in mind. When it comes to feeding your pleco, uh, you should feed your pleco sinking pellets. They actually sell sinking pellets specifically for the pleco. They are called algae wafers. You may or may not have seen them at your local fish shop. Uh, you can always feed them live worms. Some people even boil vegetables like carrots, cucumbers, uh, things like that, and place them in the aquarium for their plecos. They'll also eat leftover fish food and of course, algae off the uh, glass in your aquarium. Your water temperature should be in the area of 78 degrees and with a pH of 7. And I did want to recommend that if you are interested in getting a pleco to look around. There are some pretty cool species with some awesome patterns. If I had money to toss around, I would probably pick up some zebra plecos. I've always wanted some, but um, I did find this pretty cool royal pleco that I like. And the good thing about the other plecos is that they don't get as big as the common pleco. Uh, the royal pleco that I got is only going to get about 6 inches, not a problem for me. Um, and that is about it. If you have any questions regarding your pleco, feel free to let me know and I will get back to you ASAP. I also want to use your questions for other videos in case other people have the same question. So if you can think of uh, any really good ones, I will definitely use them and give you guys or girls credit. Thanks for watching. My name is Gus. This is my aquarium info.